Hey everybody, I'm Roxanne Speed with Enjoying Everyday Life. And I have a word, and it's a teaching word, but it's a prophetic word. The Lord has really been impressing upon me in this season, in the last season, through every trial and tribulation, that there is harvest, that you will come out of this, but there is a way, there is an instruction and a principle in the word of God that you have to know. God says, I'm not going to come and do it for you, but I'm going to bring it to you. I'm going to bring you through it. The Lord says there's many of my people that are stuck in the past. They're stuck in trauma and abuse, dysfunction in their mind, in their body, in their relationships, and they're doing nothing about it, but he doesn't come to judge you. Jesus said, I came to set you free because who the Son sets free is free indeed, and there's healing in the wings of Christ. I went through a lot of abuse, a lot of trauma, many, many years of being put down and called names that I won't even say on here. I was broken. I had insecurities. I had trial after trial. I was stuck in a toxic cycle of dating men that abused me, that were mean to me, that neglected me, and I yearned for something different. But what I did is every season, I knew to prepare through guidance, through knowledge, gain everything I could from that situation, whatever was afflicted me. I had angry outbursts. I couldn't control my emotions because how broken and wounded I was. Flashbacks from PTSD flooded my mind. I couldn't overcome. I couldn't walk in a harvest. But the Lord says that it wasn't my season. It's not your season when you're growing, when you're pressing, when that trial and tribulation seems to still have a grip on you. The Lord says that when the time is right, he will make it happen. Many of you are walking into this freedom in the next season. See, there are many seasons. We have to go through winter and then we come into summer. But winter is dry. It's dead. It doesn't look like anything's happening. But in the kingdom of God, it is. He's preparing you for the elevation that you're going to walk in. He's preparing you for the healing and freedom. And trust me, it is freedom from bondage and torment in your mind, in your body, he says, I give you life and life in abundance. I'm setting you up to take you into freedom, into the promised land, into the land flowing with milk and honey. He means where the desires of your heart have been shaped by the trials and the tribulations. And now they're mine. Because you know my word, guys, you got to get in the word of God. You got to know that the word is sharper than any two-edged sword. It's dividing between spirit and soul, joint and marrow. That word needs to be applied to every affliction. Break it down. Detail it. What is the hardest thing you're enduring right now? What is the trial that you seem to go around and around and you can't break free because it's real? Is it anxiety that comes on you? Is it panic attacks that seize you with alarm? What is it? Pull it up. Don't avoid it, says the Lord. Go back and learn where it originated from. He says, I'll take you through it. He says, I'm with you. You're not going back to it to be re-traumatized. No, you're going back to it so that I can bring you through it into freedom. The Lord says that you will not stay in affliction, but you have to work with me. You got to go back and see the, the original um, root, the door that opened through abuse, through neglect, through sexual molestation. He says, then I'm going to pluck up the root, but you're going to watch me do. It's going to feel like things are shaking. It's going to feel like you're losing, like your foundation is shoddy because it is, the Lord says. How can I build you for this calling, for this ministry, for this career, this family, whatever it is God has for you? And it's good. It's real. It will come to pass the desires of your heart, the Lord says, but go back. Not only see the origin and the root as I pluck it up, I'm going to plant it and it's going to be completely different. Your foundation is not on the rock. You're a believer and you're saved, but your foundation is sinking sand. It's damaged. And it isn't even to your um fault. It's, it's not even to hold you accountable. These things happened in your past. They happened in your childhood. Maybe they happened to you as an adult. 
and you're stuck. The Lord says that I'm building your foundation again, but it's going to be on the rock, on Jesus Christ, his very word. He says, count it all joy, my brethren and sister, when you fall into various trials and tribulations, when I'm shaking you through trials. He says, count it joy. Why? Because I'm growing you. I am building you to walk on the very path that I have ordained for you. He said, but don't fight me. Don't resist me. Sit with those emotions. Sit with that anxiety. Sit with that depression. And in the darkness, I will speak to you. In your very spirit, you will hear a voice telling you, go to the left or go to the right. The Lord says, learn the lessons from those thoughts that abuse, those trials. Forgive those people that have wounded you. Let go of offense and bitterness. God says, I'm calling my people to have fruit of the Spirit. I'm developing fruit in you. Use the past trauma as, a, as weapons that you can put in your arsenal so you can fire back at the enemy when you're walking in love, guys. You're going to develop love, a love for people, a love for God, the Christ-like love. He says, then you are mature in me when you can love your enemies. You can bless those that curse you. You can do good to those that revile you. Guys, Start praying for your enemies. Start crying out to God to pluck up the bitterness, pluck up the, all the residue that was stuck in there. He's going to clean you and he's going to remake you and he's going to build you and he's going to mold you and it's going to feel different. You're going to switch lanes. You're not going to be the person you used to be. You're going to be strong. You're going to be healed. Your mind is going to be free. You're going to have deliverance of anything that's been tormenting you. And the Lord says that this is the day he's announcing it. He says, I, the Lord God, will not do anything without first revealing it or speaking it out through my servants, through my prophets. We're just messengers. We're just people that declares the good news. And the word of God is being forgotten in the church. And the Lord says this is a clarion call for you to get back in your word. If you read it for five minutes and you meditate on it, he says it will, it will cause the very damage, the very destruction that's holding you back to dissipate. He said, I will break the chains. I will open the prison doors of your mind, your body, and you will flourish. This is a season for you to flourish. Let him plant you. He says, for I am doing a new thing. Don't you see it? Don't you perceive it? He says, don't go back to the old former things. Don't look back at Egypt. Don't look back like Lot's wife did and turned into a pillar of salt. He says, no, I am using you as salt of the earth, as light in your damage, in your pain, in your story of trauma and drama. I'm going to bring out the strongest wave of my glory, but don't hide it and don't fight it. Develop patience through these trials so that you're not tormented when you go through long seasons of hardness and depression. Break forth. He says, there's healing in my wings. And my wings are my word. It's the very word that's going to give you wisdom. Wisdom is application, applying it to every situation. And it's the principal thing. He says, learn wisdom. Develop kindness and gentleness. Develop goodness and faithfulness. He said, you may not know exactly what the fruit of my spirit is, but it's my character. It's who I am. And I need that to, to come out of you. I need you to, to walk. I need you to flow in the fruit of my spirit. So wake up, you guys, in love. The Lord is speaking. And I guarantee you that I am not a man that I shall lie, nor am I the son of man that I shall repent and change my mind. What I've promised you, that vision you see, those desires of your heart that have been tried by trials and tribulations, just like other brothers and sisters in the body are facing. Don't think it's some strange thing that's come upon you because he says it's not. Look at Job. 
I allowed the enemy to afflict him, but he couldn't take his life because I knew that in the end, Job would praise me anyway. He would bring me glory to show my power to a dying world because I'm bringing back the fear of the Lord. I'm bringing back my people that walk in my ways, that produce fruit, no longer weak-willed Christians that sway to every doctrine and sway and fall when things come upon you. Your rock is Jesus Christ. And he says, get intimate with me. I love you. The Lord says, all of these things are my heart to you. Take it as divine direction so that you can walk in the freedom because who the sun sets free is free. Indeed, you are free of it. You don't deal with it anymore. You don't toil with it anymore. The torment is gone. Well, guys, I hope you heed the word of the Lord today and let him carry you in his grace in his undeserved favor and goodness and blessing and power to enable you to go through this because it's the only way. There's no other way to get to freedom than to go through it. All right, you guys, that's the message of the Lord. I stop when the inspiration leaves. I love you guys. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. If you like it and it blessed you, hit the like button. A little validation goes a long way. And welcome back to everybody that's been with me. Thank you for letting me bless you. Take care, you guys.